The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 21st of May. And we're looking at the Dow uh, having closed at 39,806 yesterday, forming that missing leg D to 40,077. Now, the futures are at this particular point very, very slightly changed. Let me just... Uh, Type it in over here. There we go. This is the early edition. This is 8.07 in the morning, 8.06 in the morning on Tuesday. The replay to 10. So this is your leg D and possibly a peak D if the uh, Dow doesn't make a new uh, all-time high today. And most importantly, we're looking at the E-mini. <clears throat> now, this is so fascinating. The E-mini did not go to a leg D yesterday. Just this is the futures. It just went underneath it. So we possibly have a peak C1, C2. We'll see what happens here. But look, the cash index, I love this. There's always a little divergence to say, oops, well, what's going on here? Well, that made a leg F. There could be an instant restart. I don't think so at this particular time. Uh, but it was an all-time high. And that's that's very important. I just want to double check on the price that I typed in here. I think I said 532532 correct? And if you look at the QQQ, which is the index 100, trading yesterday at a new all-time high, went to 455.58. I just need to double check the 455.58, correct? The NQ, that is the futures right now, <clears throat> trading down 17, having gone to a leg E uh, yesterday, Let me type that in, E, uh, uppercase on the way up, there it is. And is that an F now in the um, weekly chart? We're going to see soon enough. At this particular point, all the technicals are very good. What's missing? What's missing is bad news. So let me just go to the IWM, the Russell 2000, which was, they had a rally yesterday, but didn't take out the 209.77 high of four sessions ago. So in, in a sense, it's lagging. And in another sense, it is actually doing very nicely because even yesterday when the Dow, because of Goldman Sachs, suddenly had that sharp decline uh, and closed sharply lower. Well, the IWM held very nicely, had a little bit of a, a gain at the end. Uh, so that divergence so far is good. What I want you to also look at is, um, so pre-market is down 34 cents at 208.20. So I wanted to go to the gold and show you something very interesting. Look, gold made a slightly new high above the high that was made back in April. The continuous contract, which is right now down 10, it was down a lot earlier. It was down at the 2408 level. It's now at 2428. I mean, that's that's a big comeback. Yesterday had a very good rally. It went to 2454.2 uh, above the previous high. And the, the gold continuous contract is in leg E in the daily charge. Remember in the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking for a buy signal to be upgraded to a buy mode, implying that it should go to at least four higher peaks. That's peak D. Uh, and then you've got to assess and see whether or not there's, there's a chance of an instant restart. That's very positive. Um, whether that's where you get your sharpest decline. A lot goes on at that D. <clears throat> In terms of assessing, if the technicals are good, they just, they should just stay good. Well, in the case of the Dow, of the uh, gold, look, the stochastic is flat at 90%. That's really good. The MACD is good. The, the relative strength is making high highs. It's not overbought. It's just good. The weekly chart is even better technically, and this is the issue. Look here, the gold the gold miners, the GDX which has been lagging quite a bit, did go to a leg D mode. We were always looking for a D in a buy signal to buy mode. Went to a D yesterday, hit the 37s, leg E in the weekly chart, and finally, and the month is young. We've still got a number of sessions to go before the end of the month, but look at this. There's your leg C above that 
from 4578 back in August of 2020, there's been a, a declining trend line. Turns out it's a channel, a little mini channel, one that I call the inside track repellent zone, but it went through it. And as I say, it's a monthly chart. You really have to wait till the end of the month before you can say, talk about it as a completed candle. But it did finally pop its head above that resistance line. That is a very good in, uh, indi indication of strength so far. The silver has been way stronger. Today it's down 41 cents at 32.01. And this is going to be interesting because I think that could make a peak C if it doesn't go above yesterday's high of uh, 32.75 of, yes, 32 and 32.72 was the high yesterday. So there's a chance that it makes a peak C. It should still pop, have one little pop to the upside to go to a D leg E in the weekly chart. A little overbought, but technically still strong. The daily chart is very strong technically. And that weekly, monthly chart, sorry, is that continuous silver contract has soared above that trend line resistance. And that's very good. In fact, it's gone. If you go to the high that was made back in 20, right here, 2021 in February, a high of 32.66. Uh, the high that we just made is 22, I mean, 32.75. We've made a new high. That's why that's, all, that's a leg C with an overlapping wave right there. Okay, very important is high-grade copper. High-grade copper um, pulled back just a tad intraday yesterday from the high, but it made a new recovery high. Uh, in fact, a, a multi, at least a multi-year high, and it's in leg D in the monthly chart, leg D in the weekly chart, and a potential leg D that might be a peak D if there's no new high above yesterday's continuous contracts high in copper of 51.99, and it's trading right now at 5.155. Five, 5 uh, I wanted to go to crude oil. Look at this. I just want to get these out of the way. Crude oil. This is the early edition, 8.13 in the morning. This is not the usual Tiger Technician's Hour at, eight, at 10 o'clock. And this is now down $1.57. Remember, we've been talking about making a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology underneath the previous peak D, E, or F on the left side. It's usually a sign to say, in this particular instance, you don't have the power to break above that previous high so you could go into a digestive phase and that's exactly what crude oil has done so far. Isn't that interesting? Uh, sitting on the 200 period moving average is it able to push away? Well, we, well, we'll know soon enough. But the weekly chart has a green nine period moving average. So, so far that's good. But look, they're both turning down, watching crude oil very, very closely. Let's go to bonds. The bonds are up, oh, whoo. One thirty second. It's made a peak D underneath the previous peaks. Um, it's really struggling. I want to see the yields come down, and that's going to be an effort to do that because it's right on the TBT, which is the ultra short Lehman 20 year Treasury bond ETF. This is the moment of truth. Why? Because it's on. This is one, two, three, four, five, five, five weeks over a period of, uh, since January, has a test of this uptrend line, which has an inside track profile and so on. Will yields go higher, or will they suddenly break that support level? That's going to be the question. And I want to talk about the SMH semi when we return. Basil Chapman, early edition of the Tiger King Tower, and the Dow Futures are, I am, up 21. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back. Now some tap at 8, 8 a.m. Eastern time. Oops. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Good. Uh, so we're looking at this horizontal trend line. You remember I showed this yesterday. I said that this is going to turn out to be something that I monitor very closely. It's the midpoint of this long channel that was uh, sideways, narrow rectangle that we were in. Uh, this was the on was that Sunday night? Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, on the twenty yesterday, going into yesterday morning. That's right. And look, you then went to peak A, B, C, D. Pull back. This is the five minute E mini chart. Came down, made a beautiful cup formation, and then we went sideways almost all night. Very narrow range. Look at this. Isn't that interesting? I I told you that in my in my experience. Overnight trading, either there's something that happens that has just a huge move to the upside, or you can be stuck in a trading range, a very narrow trading range, for a long time, going right into the early morning, and there it is. Uh, oh, I'd already drawn it in. Um, and there's that blue line that was at uh, 53.34 that was most important in that horizontal uh, narrow trading range. And look at this, how many times it's been hit and it's been a repellent zone. Even this morning, it went to a peak D in the five-minute chart. And what happened? It hit it exactly right there, 53.34. It's pulled back a little bit. It's actually going sideways again. It's just in a holding pattern. And that, so I said to subscribe to my opening call that I wouldn't be surprised if uh, after about 2 o'clock, the market is still holding between a plus 30 and a minus 30, that we just have a fairly kind of sideways range waiting. In fact, I think it's going to be quite important, the NVIDIA uh, earnings tomorrow after the bell. So let's just have a look at this. Look, NVIDIA at a perfect round number 00, that is 974.00, round number high on the, on the week of the 10th of March. It came tumbling down, had a number of round numbers, but then it came tumbling down uh, to the 756.06 level on the 19th of April. And then what did it do? It actually closed that very session at a 762 round number high. It's trading right now. It's 950, 951.50. Now, I typed in a round number here, and I, can't, uh, I just need to check when it is. It was yesterday's high. It was 952. So I make that, and I just I let it sit there. 
quietly. I, I usually make it a very light color, and I say, okay, let's watch that because it means that now you're starting to get those round numbers. <clears throat> on the way down, you saw some as well. And now on the way up, back again at all, all time high, 974.00. Well, the reason why I'm talking about it is it has earnings tomorrow, tomorrow after the bell. But there's one thing coming out with the earnings, really optimistic. I, I mean, I don't know how they can meet all that, but you never can tell because it is the semiconductor area. And the semiconductor area is where there are sometimes surprises and unexpected, that's what a surprise is, unexpected results or unexpected look forward statements. And that's really what we're going to see. And can NVIDIA meet all those expectations? Well, they have products that really are cutting edge, uh, state of the art, in much, much demand. And we'll just see what happens. So I'm, I'm suspecting that at some point it could be, uh, th it could be Thursday or Friday. It makes a new high over 974.00 and goes to that leg D. And then we might be in for a little bit of a consolidation or it might just pop up. We've seen that before where it pops up and then over the day it just starts to sink and then that's it for a little while. But what's the worst case at this particular point? I think the worst case is a sideways range and it will be that 956.06 low of the 19th of April that um, – that's 200 points from here, so it's going to have to be really disappointing for it to get down there. But it's more the outlook. If the outlook um, is suggesting that they won't be able to meet demand and that it's going to be – they'll have the demand, but all the expectations are going to be a little bit uh, unmet. Let's put it that way. Uh, then we'll see what happens. But if everything's hot, it just – it takes off and it goes to the uh, uh, 1,000 level in, in an eye – sorry, yeah, 1,000 level in an eye blink. All I can say is it's going to be very important. But look at this. You've got applied materials. Applied materials made a new uh, a new all-time high in leg E yesterday. Uh, it's up in the two – right now it's at 220.50 pre-market open. Leg D in the weekly chart, leg E in the monthly chart. And normally I'd be looking at this and I'd say, you know, these are all very overbought. But wait a minute. Look at the weekly chart of uh, applied materials. AMAT is a symbol. The nine period moving average is rising both in the nine and the 14. To get them both to turn down, you'd probably have to see 180 or lower to get that green line, which is very positive, turn pink and negative. So – it's a work in progress. That's all I can say. And if you're looking at, was it um, advanced micro devices? Someone asked me yesterday if I could look at it. Um, this is in leg B. It's down 51 cents right now, 165.82. It had hit, let me just show you something interesting. It had hit 227.30, an all time high. And that was back in early March. And then it had a whole bunch of round numbers on the way down. And then it came to this particular low on at just over 140. It was 141.16 on the 2nd of May. And it's been rallying very nicely since. And the 9 period moving average turned green. Stochastic's at 80%. And the weekly chart, all the technicals are weak, except that the 9 period moving average finally went pink. And then we'll see what happens uh, this week if it, it flips back to green. But it's a huge peak D up at the two, what did I say? It was 227.30 two, 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 level. Uh, coming back down uh, to the 141s. I mean, that is a big percentage move. So they're all kind of mixed. Now, when I say mixed, this is very interesting because we've got the same sort of thing in um, in almost all the sectors. There, there are leaders and there are laggards. We've seen that in gold even. Uh, you've seen that in many other areas. I wanted to show you uh, something here that I wanted to discuss yesterday, and then I, I discussed it briefly, but I wanted to see where we are today. Look, Bitcoin landed up moving out in this cup formation. What I said is the nine period actually flipped positive. Is it able to break to the upside in the cup formation? and get all the way back to the 74,000. But I said if it gets to 70, uh, 
I think it's at 71,250, and that was earlier yesterday. Uh, that's going to be impressive, and it's already done that. It's made the cup formation. If you look at the weekly chart of the continuous contract of Bitcoin, look at this. Now, uh, people in the den, forgive me if I don't if I don't see your questions, I'll go there in a minute, but usually I can see them pop up immediately. Right now, I'm working on one laptop instead of all my other uh, instruments that I'm looking at, and uh, I can't see it. Right now. Uh, yes, I'll be back in a moment, and I see uh, that I've put Basil Chapman Early Edition. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. I'm going to be back. Uh, that was the that we were looking at right now. That was Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is trading up 1,300 and 71,730. Now it's in a leg B. I'm calling this a blue leg B because the stochastic is very strong at 93%. MACD is good. So I'm going to put in an up arrow and it says it should go high. It should go to a C and a D. That's very positive. Looking at the weekly chart, you've got the Chapman Wave falling access, the pattern with the declining cone and expanding cone, I should say. 
And this is, look, lower highs and much lower lows. And uh, I don't know if I can find that pattern now, but let's just say that it's starting to form the cup formation. That's what I drew in. And it looks to me like there's a good chance that it wants to make a new high. We'll see what happens. And this is a uh, Bitcoin futures continuous contract peak C in the uh, in the monthly chart and the G, uh, BGTC, the Bitcoin uh, BGTC. GBTC is Bitcoin uh, Investment Trust, leg C in the daily falling X formation, just about a breakout. Hopefully we'll see that. It's up a dollar fifteen pre-market at sixty-three fifty-five. And the previous high was that I typed it in there, but not here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, here we go. We've got uh, the high of the week of the 15th of March at 65.61. It's getting close. It should make a leg C, uh, P, uh, leg D after this big D in the monthly chart. And then Ethereum I was asked about. So when I, I looked at it yesterday, that was also pre-market. It was, you know, toddling along there. Uh, and now look at the candle from 23s to 28s in one spike. That is very good action. That's a leg B, but that's stochastic still under 80%. It's 73%. So there's still some work to be done, but it's acting very well pre-market. It's a 3150. The all-time high was way back in the 40s, uh, back in 2022. It plummeted down to the fours or something like that. And, and now it's trading very well. It's at, uh, as I say, 3150. And uh, it has made already a peak D in the monthly chart. Uh, so we're watching that. Another question I had was, uh, could I look at, um, oh, uranium, R-U-R-N-M. So this is the uranium ETF. It's the spot uranium minus ETF. It's finally got to a leg D in the monthly. We're anticipating that we are still, we are still long our uranium stock, um, doing very nicely. The uh, weekly chart is at 59.75 at this point. Up 0.94 pre-market. I've got this as a leg. Now, what I do in the in the chat way methodology is so far because this is still a work in progress before it goes um, before I get the confirmation that is is not an old leg E but a brand new B. So far, it has all the characteristics, but the stochastic really needs to get over 80 percent. That on balance one is rallying nicely, but it's still way down in the low range. So I'm calling this just to be ready an E slash B. That means everything's positive, but just be ready that there could be a, a fairly sharp a sudden pullback at any time. But that daily chart is in leg D and that's very strong. And here again, the stochastic is at 79.43, just under 80%, but that's good enough. And this is still acting very well. So that's uranium. Uh, the question came in, if I could look at, oh, I have it. Oh, yes. Um, now, I've just got to find out where I want to go. Okay, so in the goals, I had spoken about Newmont Mines yesterday. It's a, it's a great company. But it's gone from 86.37 in April of 22 down to the uh, 30 level. And now it's trading at 44, pre-market is down 15 cents. So this this would be a really good example of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> what is the wave count here? So what I'll, I, the idea is to always give yourself the opportunity of being in the most current notation in the Chaffin wave. It means that sometimes you may, might have to readjust and, and change things. Well, in this particular instance for Newmont Mining, uh, we are not we are not uh, long Newmont Mining. We've got a silver stock that's done very nicely. I'm going to go back and say I'm making that an up arrow. I'm making that a down arrow. I'm calling this a single leg, a spike to the upside. Why am I doing this? Because every once in a while, the notation is such that if you don't do what is obvious after the fact, you're going to put yourself in a situation that says, oh, you know what, you're anticipating something that now shouldn't happen. So now what I've done is I'm saying that's your single leg gap to the upside spike, I don't know if it was earnings or whatever it is, but since this is your low bar, 
in Newmont Binding, NEM's a symbol, it's trading right now at 44.29, it's down, uh, 20, uh, down 15 cents. This means that that A held the nine period moving average as it, after the huge gap up. That A, although it's not from a low bar, this is your starting point. So you've got to count every peak. So that's A, that's B, that's C, and now we're in leg D. That's the way I would do this notation. For those Chapman waivers out there, this is a really good example of correcting what, it's not necessarily a mistake because it had every legitimacy to call that a G and this was a continuation of a Chapman wave instant restart, but that serious decline and that sharp ups, ups it's really a rocket ship up spike, and then a pullback halfway, and then it starts a brand new peak ABCD. This to me, is, I'm totally comfortable with this particular interpretation. That's your starting point, and that's your continuation. That is a peak A right there, even though that low afterwards is lower where you should normally start the A. No, that's your starting point. I hope that clarifies a little bit of the Chapman Wave uh, methodology. And that was that. The other question was, could you do some of the uh, key stocks at Apple? Apple trading at, uh, this is a leg E, 191.34 pre-market, up 30 cents. It's extended that. It's still underneath the previous high in the 190s. It dropped down to the 160s, and now it's had a very nice comeback. And um, I'm not sure if there's any news that's going to be coming out with Apple, but at this particular point, you can see that that inside track repellent zone worked its wonders there, and it pulled back. But now it's trying to get back to that level. I had a one-to-one -one expansion that's gone beyond that. So that just says to me that the technicals are not great when you're looking at the MACD, the stochastic, the on-balance volume. But whoa, look at that nine period moving area, still green. And now we've seen for the last two weeks that the weekly chart went from pink to green and the daily's green. So Apple is acting very well right now. Um, it's got 187 to 184 really important support going into the first week of July, of, of June, I'm sorry. And at this particular point, uh, it's, it's doing nicely. Amazon. Amazon is pulling back. It's down 48 cents today at 183.06 pre-market. It hit 191.7. Whoa. That sound is crazy. Hey, what uh, Earthquake. 188.65 was all-time high. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, early edition. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, we're back. This is the early edition. This is at 8.42 a.m. and now you've got the futures. Remember I spoke about the blue uh, repellent line I drew in uh, a day or so ago, a day ago. And um, now we've sharply went right to this peak D at that particular point. It was at 7 o'clock this morning. <clears throat> now you're trading. Uh, that was at 53.34, and now you're at 50, uh, 53.27. Uh, something happened. I don't know what the news is, but it suddenly pulled back from being up uh, a couple of dollars down to uh, down 4.75 in the E-mini. Uh, important uh, technical tool that. And here we go. So we we're looking at Amazon. I want you to do Microsoft. Microsoft is trading up a dollar thirty at four twenty six point sixty four. Uh, All time high was uh, four thirty point eighty two back on the twenty fourth of March. That was a peak D. It pulls back sharply, goes to the three eighty eight point oh three level, and now it's at a very good rally. It's in leg E. It's kind of uh, on the notation wise. We're going to see what happens here because if it's able to get this week, if it's able to break to a new all-time high, that's going to be important. It did break a peak C1, C2 back in that's like a D uh, back in uh, April. Uh, it was March going into April and pull back and now it's getting back to that level and it's a peak D already in the monthly chart, Microsoft. So the parameters I'm looking at, if it breaks a, if it breaks to a new all-time high in May, that is very good action. That would say that you've gone to a leg D. Then I have to assess and say, is that going to be an instant restart of the monthly? We don't even have to get there. Let's just see what happens if we make that. We are long from the 338s in the Chapman Wave using Chapman Wave methodology. That's in the opening call newsletter. Uh, but most importantly, what I'm looking at is I, I chose this as a kind of a generic leader back in, I think it was the 30th of October of last year, rather than go and add to the Dow or anything like that, I said, look, the Microsoft is in everything. It is in the Dow. It is in the S&P. It is in the uh, NASDAQ. It is uh, a leader in AI. So in that regard, it's kind of a generic leader and let's see how it does over the next uh, six months. And that would go into that would go into June. Uh, no, sorry, that would, I want to see how it goes into the summer period because that's going to be the big test for Microsoft. Because a lot of these uh, major leaders are starting to bump into some kind of story or a little news event that's just stopping the upside momentum. So this is very important that it keeps going. If that momentum is going to continue the daily, look, the 9's over the 14. MACD is strong, 91% in the stochastic. But if you look at the weekly chart, that pullback that happened, it was just uh, six weeks, seven weeks or so, um, in the from the March high, um, and that weekly chart, and this is what happens very often. If you look at the daily, weekly, and monthly, the weekly one is is the one that suffers the most damage when there's a sharp pullback 
even if the monthly chart is holding very well. And you can see the nine is still very strong, but look at the MACD, how weak it is. Look at the stochastic red and green line here at 61%, but the on-balance volume is doing very nicely. So the momentum so far is upside for Microsoft. So uh, I mentioned AI. So the AIQ, this is the ETF, this is the Global X Artificial Intelligence ETF. Look, legs, see in the monthly chart, big V-shaped pattern, took out the 3345 all-time high of November of 2021. It had dropped to 1801 in October of 2022. This is a really big move to the upside. And it's made a new, uh, I put it, I put an, a down error. I've had trouble with this. It's the one thing over the last, I would say, six months that I'm starting to think I need to modify and find something a little different there. It could turn into a sell signal with a down arrow, but the nine held so beautifully. So it's the move after this that counts, where it goes to in this right a right shoulder to the upside. And you can see the uh, daily has gone to a peak D. It's got right to that resistance of 34.52. Uh, that was back in, uh, in April. And here it is at... Uh, Makes a high of 34.54, so that's a new uh, all-time high. Pulls back, pre-market is down 21 cents at 34.32, but what's interesting is yesterday, it just by a fraction failed to make a new high. So we, I should mention we've been long quite some time. Uh, right there, you can see we were long, and that's from 2023. And to remain long, take little bits off for some uh, money management. But that's the AI, AIQ. But AIQ, as far as I'm concerned, with all the hype and all the talk about AI, I would have thought that from the 1801, you would get at least initially a double and then at least a 50% move after that. That's kind of the way I always look at big moves up. In this, in this V-shape or cup pattern. Well, 18 to uh, 34 is almost a double. So that's the first phase, but it hasn't even reached that yet. And that's a little surprising to me. So I want you to do this. Um, Netflix, just real quickly, Netflix is trading uh, up strongly from yesterday. That's a B, and now it's in leg C. Only trouble is, Pre-market is down three at 6.37. NFLX is a symbol. That's a B. And that's a C in the daily. It made a G and it took out that low on the left side after the chapter wave instant potential instant restart. So this, uh, I don't know if I can call it an A. This is one of those areas where I type it in. I don't believe it. And then after a period of time, <laughs> might even work out. But at this particular point, I'm suggesting to you that Netflix, there's nothing wrong. Look, everything looks very strong. But I want to see in three in three to four bars time in the weekly, that's about a month. I want to see if it's taken out the 542.01, just missed a round number, low that was made back in um, April. And that's going to be important because if it holds very well and all it does is pull back to the 595, 593 area, that's still a pretty big pullback on any weakness to come um, and then goes to a higher high. That says you started another move. That's, a, that's fantastic for Netflix. Question came in, could I look at um, oh, oh, TGB? TGB is to say, whoops, to say mines. It's always a very low price stock and yet it can have huge moves. It's done that now. Look at this. It's gone from the one Basically, from about one uh, in 2023 to where it is right now, 3.09 pre-market, it's up four cents. So this is a brand new, look, that's the same thing that we were looking at. I could really start this here and go back and say, wait a minute, to get it right, I have to consider that that PE right over there in April at about 2.6 was in fact a peak and now what we've got thank you f slash a right there okay this becomes an a that becomes a b that becomes a c and lo and behold we've got ourselves a big team 
see how pretty now anything for the sake of my PHP. What a nice move. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. I thought it was a lot of things. I just wanted to ask a question. Can I share the news? We have a guest from yesterday. It's very good. And uh, it's up, uh, even the market's up 241. And I showed Bitcoin that was doing, they, they, they were doing very nicely. Bitcoin and the GB, uh, that's the Bitcoin uh, trust. So, okay, let me do this. I want to just show you this is based on uh, yesterday's close. This is the Dow, had a pullback from 40,077, all-time high. Leg D, we've been anticipating. At D, we always expect that this is where you've got to do your homework because other things can happen. So we've been aggressively long. We did add an insurance policy yesterday, um, a small, but it's there. And we're looking to see what happens next. That's going to be really important because NVIDIA, based on the SMHs, the actions thus far – pre-market down 59 cents at 234.41. It did go to 238. Isn't that the 236.60.04 uh, is not the 239.14 level is the all-time high. So it's underneath that. So I'm watching this very closely because what happens with NVIDIA tomorrow could impact the market. But I don't see any bad news. In other words, I don't see yields skyrocketing. I just I don't see any kind of overhang um, that says to me, all right, now be really careful because everything's set for a huge move to the downside. I see a bit of a consolidation here as possible. That's the start. What happens next will be important. But for the day, if the Dow is up um, after 2 o'clock, more than a plus 30, 
that's going to be a good sign for the close. If it's under minus 30 and holding, that says, all right, you can see some weakness. I'm anticipating kind of a mixed close. Uh, the Dow might be a little bit stronger after that big give back yesterday with Goldman Sachs. Yeah, that was aberration in the sense that the market was holding pretty well. Dow was doing pretty well. So I'm watching this very closely here because the right side of this U pattern in the weekly charts, what happens in two weeks' time? Are we looking at much higher prices or is the consolidation begun if we've gone straight? The, the bias right now is to say things are very positive. Let's see how we close today and tomorrow. Um, have a great rest of the day. Uh, stay tuned for this is going to be the morning market kickoff. And uh, I will be back with Tom later this afternoon. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has